Hello, Star Citizens. Buzzkiller here, and welcome back. Now, today I was lucky enough to finally beat the Pirate Swarm in Arena Commander. And I did it in single player. And uh, I'll tell you what loadout I used to do it here in just a bit. But I just wanted to show off my brand new Drake Caterpillar Pirate Edition. Now, of course, the only difference between this and the standard Caterpillar is in fact the paint job. There's absolutely no other difference to the ship whatsoever. It's the same price. You're going to have to buy the ship if you don't own it already or upgrade to it. Uh, but it just so happened that I already had a Caterpillar as part of the package that had the two... Oh, sorry for the obstructions there. That had the two dragonflies that came with it. And I was able to just directly upgrade to it at no cost. So pretty cool. Um, I actually like this exterior theme better, the red and black. I like it with the more more of the black. I'm not a pirate. I don't plan to be a pirate. But uh, the pirate logos are actually pretty neat. I like the little uh, hash marks on the side, probably showing how many kills or ships it's looted. And it has the little skull there on the wing, which is also pretty nice. I can probably zoom in a little bit on it. But yeah, I, I, I like this color scheme on the exterior. It's, it's pretty cool. It looks like they painted the actual engines instead of leaving them bare metal. I, I'm not too thrilled about that. I like the bare metal look. I think they should have left that, um, that piping there on the top. That should have stayed metal as well. But who knows? I mean, in the future... When the PU comes out, we're supposed to be able to customize our ship's appearance, and hopefully we'll be able to make some tweaks. And you know, I can remove the pirate decals if I don't want them, maybe, and, or change the color to green. I, like the, I prefer the green. Now, the exterior is not the only thing that changed. Let me go ahead and jump out of the seat here. Everything inside the ship that used to be green is now red. And again, I liked the green. I enjoyed the green. So, this is kind of a meh for me. But, I mean, some people will like this. I do like the fact that that's a red line going up to the cockpit. You can see that a lot better than you did with the green stripe. Pretty cool. All these component housings. Basically, yeah, everything that was green is now red. And the place I really dislike the change is in the cargo hold here. It just doesn't pop as much to me. I like the green with the yellow accents. You know, the contrasting colors really pop nice. But, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's, it's a neat little collector's item to have in the hangar. And I really am a ship collector <laughs> by heart. I, I love the ships. So having something a little exclusive, a little something I earned as a trophy is kind of nice. Although at 295, it's <laughs> it's a pretty expensive trophy. Anyway, to beat Van Duel Swarm, I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. And I'm going to go ahead and make a cut here and go into Van Duel Swarm. Or I'm sorry, Pirate Swarm, and show you how it was. Okay, so here we are in the Arena Commander customization menu. I just wanted to go over some of the ships I tried first, and one of the first ships I tried was the Gladius. It's extremely nimble, it's good at avoiding damage, but its weapons loadout is just kind of pitiful. Its stock weapons are pretty bad, so it was really, really hard to get very far in Pirate Swarm, because the larger ships just, like I said, they just take forever to kill, and eventually if you're circling one ship, you've got three other ships shooting at you, eventually they're going to take you down. Um, its ability to avoid damage is really high, but again, you have multiple ships shooting at you, it's harder, and really there's a lot of ship repair drops uh, in Pirate Swarm versus Vandal Swarm. This ship is really good for Vandal Swarm, but I would upgrade the weapons to size 2s if you're using a joystick at least. My favorites were the Sawbucks and these uh, Scorpion... Um, what are they called? We click on it. Of course, I can't get to it now. Tarantula. The Tarantula 870s. 
That's the size 2 ballistic cannon. And those do a pretty decent job. So the next ship I tried was the Sabre. And I had a lot more success in the Sabre, but it still wasn't enough to get me all the way to the end. Uh, I tried putting, again, I use all fixed because I, I fly joystick. So I tried putting all of the size 3 laser repeaters on there. That didn't work out too well. Uh, they don't do enough damage and they overheat too fast. The next loadout I tried was all ballistic. I think I put... Um, it was uh, the ballistic cannons on here. I can't remember which ones, the size threes. And they did okay. It was long swords or broadsword, broadswords. And they did okay. Um, but again, I was, I was you know, chasing those ammo drops. And I was worried about running out of ammo. But I don't think it would have been a big deal. But still, that, that was in my mind. What if I run out of ammo? Uh, so probably the best loadout I tried was the four bearing laser cannons. These are the M5As, the size threes. They work really well. They pack a decent punch. They have a decent fire rate and they don't overheat too fast. So you can pound them out. Still takes some while to do some kill to kill the larger ships. So maybe I would, if I continued to try to use this ship, I would put a couple ballistics on it as, along with the lasers. And that might actually work out pretty well. The ship I finally finished it in was the Vanguard Warden. Now there's not a whole lot of customization you can do to the Warden because it has these four fixed lasers that you cannot change. But the one thing I did change and it made a huge difference was the nose gun. Uh, you start off with the Ballistic Gatling, the Revenant Ballistic Gatling, and it does okay damage. It's a fast firing weapon, but it just doesn't have the punch needed to take out the larger ships at the end. Um, I tried the large M7A laser cannon, the one off the Starfarer, uh, and it did better, but again, it just didn't have, seem to have as much punch. Then I put this on. This is the C788 ballistic cannon, ballistic cannon by Bering, and this thing packs a tremendous punch. You can still put it on gimbaled. Um, it's got plenty of ammo. I mean, you never run out of ammo with this thing, and the amount of damage it does is ridiculous. The smaller ships, you either annihilate them completely in the first couple shots or you knock them around and they get knocked all over the place it's pretty funny to watch and the larger ships you go in you soften up the shields with the laser cannons and then start pounding them with this ballistic cannon and eventually they will go down and of course you have four eight i'm sorry eight size two missiles to go with that and it's really an effective build you've got plenty of shields with the vanguard when you start getting in trouble you got the speed to run away and let your shields recharge. You've got plenty of, of repair drops in Pirate Swarm so you can fix whatever components are, are damaged. I made it all the way to the last round before losing a life in this ship. And I lost one life and I was able to kill all the ships. Uh, the larger ships are really tough. The Constellations, the Vanguards. But this ship can do it. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Until next time, this has been Buzzkiller, and I'll see you in the verse.